Fox New tonight. Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar has come under scrutiny in the last two months for his alleged role in the Capitol riot. Now Gosar is taking heat again, this time for headlining a white supremacist group's annual convention over the weekend. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick has more on what Gosar did and what we know about this group. Congressman Gosar's support for extreme ideas isn't new, but experts on extremism say Gosar's presence at this event boosts this hate group's credibility. This country wouldn't exist without white people. And white people are done being bullied. That's Nick Fuentes, leader of the white supremacist America First movement, speaking this weekend. A country without a border is not a country. A nation without a people is not a nation. And that's Republican Congressman Paul Gosar of Arizona, keynote speaker this weekend at Fuentes' second annual America First gathering. Hate doesn't change. Only the face of hate will change. Former Mesa cop Matt Browning has covered far-right hate groups for years. Nick Fuentes is just another person who's picking up where somebody else dropped off. And by picking up a sitting congressman to headline his event, experts say Fuentes' brand of hate gets some credibility. Devin Burkhart is another expert on right-wing groups. How big a deal is it for them to have a sitting congressman at, at an event? It's a huge deal for them. Gosar told one reporter he accepted the America First invitation to, quote, reach young conservatives. But Fuentes and his group were in the middle of the Capitol insurrection. Doing just the slightest bit of due diligence would tell you who Nick Fuentes was and the kind of role that America First has played. Gosar's office didn't respond to a request for comment. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.